Welcome to the IQ Review, the brand new show that reviews movies only in your Netflix Instant Queue. So, my name is Joel Valley. My name is Brian Lee. I'm Jen Marie Yazi Gallegos. Dang. That's a long day. <laughs> and we are here to just sort through all that garbage or in all them gems that are on Netflix Instant Q review so you don't have to. And I'm, we're not film critics by mm -hmm. any means. I mean, I love film. Yes. You love film. He knows, he studied film, he went to film school, <laughs> so he might pro. know a little more. But we love film, so maybe based on what we like, you guys might be able to find something that you like as well. So this is the IQ review. For our very first episode of the IQ Review, we take a look at Big Fan. So here's a trailer of the trailer. Right there. What? Ralph Bishop! God, I wish I brought it. You falling off the slope? No, no, we we just want to talk, man. What this animal did to you, he's got to pay. How much time could he get? You're a sick boy, you know that, Paul? You need help. <laughs> All right, there you have it. That's Big Fan. Big Fan is directed and written by Robert Siegel. And this is his first time in the director's chair, but we know him because he wrote The Wrestler, which is a great movie. I love that movie. Mm -hmm. So uh, it also stars Patton Oswalt. It stars who else? Um, that Robert that guy, Corrigan. Robert Corrigan. So, uh, and then uh, what's his Rapport, name? Michael Rapport. Michael Rapport. Yes. Has a real small little appearance. So... What did you guys think of Big Fan? Let's hear from you, Brian. What did you think? So, I mean, I didn't, I didn't know what I was really expecting. I thought it was going to be mainly a sports movie, mm -hmm. you know? I thought it was going to have, like, some sports, some going to things. But it was, it was pretty dark, man. I mean, like, it was, it was, it was a sports <laughs> movie. It had, you know, him following his favorite athlete and all that stuff. But once it got to the point where the plot kind of takes off, it goes through some very dark moments in his, right. you know, in his head. He, you know, he's just a sad guy. I was expecting a lot more gameplay because I, I wasn't really sure like what to expect going in on there. But when I was watching it, it definitely, you know, it starts off like, oh, you know, you're, you really start to fall in love with the characters and then their passion for their sport and for their team. But then everything happens, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, they're hugging my pillow. And I'm like, oh my <laughs> god, like really? It's really going there? And I don't know, afterwards it's definitely taken back. But I honestly, like, I like dark movies. It definitely, it makes you think. It makes you really, you know, you feel for your character. You really felt for him. And it, it was good, though. I really liked it. It was suspenseful at certain points. And just, I, I enjoyed it. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know why, but I thought I was gonna watch a horror movie. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why. I thought it was. But I think your whole life is. No, no. no I thought. I thought. I thought I had seen previews from, of it, like, like earlier. Oh. And I swear, I thought this was about this guy who was a big fan and wanted to kill this guy or something. Oh. I don't know. So I'm like, where's the killing? You know, I'm waiting for the killing. But like, from the opening shot. Like in the carport, or you know, in the yeah. garage and stuff. Like I'm already loving this, mm -hmm. yeah, know, loving this movie. You know, did you guys notice that little squirrel that dodged through the? No, <laughs> no. it was like this little squirrel right in the beginning. Watch for that. <laughs> but, uh, I wonder if that was per on purpose or not. But I tell you what, um, I just I love this movie. I thought it was like, man, there was like I was sitting there like you, just thinking, man. What would I do if I, you know, if, the, if I was put in that situation that he was put in? What would I do? And I felt like all the performances were real. Yes. Mm -hmm. I felt like I, I never doubted like what was going on. Mm -hmm. And then um, his his buddy, his friend, mm -hmm. like his performance was, I, I thought was the best thing in the movie. And mm -hmm. I, I just loved loved uh, what they did with with both of those characters. Mm -hmm. Like at first you're like these guys are normal guys, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but then when you're in you're in the stadium outside and they're yeah. hooking up the TV and they're watching the game uh -huh. from outside uh -huh. the stadium, you're like, oh my gosh, these guys are the real deal. They're, they're real hearts. fans. So it um, was like an addiction. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really is. I mean, like the sports to them. I, I mean, 
I, I've never met, I've never really seen a character where they're so obsessed with sports. Right. You know, mm-hmm. like it was just that. I don't know. And it, it wasn't just, just it was so original. It was, it was the players too. Yeah. Like they were they they were not you know in a passionate way, but it was an obsessed way of their of their players. They idolized them to this just this magnitude that was just. Definitely something I, it was hard to like comprehend and to mm-hmm. take in when I was watching it. But the family dynamic is what really got to me too, is watching the whole family, how they oh, interacted with him. That was... Like oh. a, his brother was a lawyer, lawyer and the mm-hmm. stuff that happened. Even I loved, I, even the <laughs> cheesy commercial. Yeah. Oh, that, like that was that so was cool. awesome. Uh-huh. Like, I don't know. I think my scoring on this movie is I'm going to give it four stars. I'm not going to give it five. I'll give it four stars. I definitely think that you should put it in your instant cube, Ryan. Four, definitely. I mean, like I, I loved it. It's probably not something I'm going to watch again for a little while. Right. You know, mm-hmm. but I mean, it, it definitely hit me hard. That's something was, you you, you uh, call the family over for no, Thanksgiving. No, no, no. Hey, let's, let's watch, watch the family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely not. So nothing for a romantic like chick flick kind of a movie or anything that I'd say that you want to have like you this know. This is one you watch like your a friend. Right. Yeah, that's something <laughs> like either that or you're just with your friends. Don't be depressed like, when you watch it. You yeah, know, like, <laughs> exactly. Like this is like a cool Friday night movie. Like you're inside, you're on the couch, big bowl of popcorn. I give it a four stars myself. Awesome. Four there you have it. Board. Big fan. So stay tuned next week, and we're going to be reviewing The Troll Hunter. So Ooh. we'll see you then. Hey, if you guys have a movie you would like us to review on the IQ Review, just hit us up where? At our Facebook address right here. Or our Twitter page, and you can tweet us or follow us or hit us up and let us know what you think and what you want us to watch here. There you go. We want to hear from you guys. We'll see you.